Hey guys, so when I first did my makeup, I first primed my face with the Maybelline Master Prime by Face Studio Primer. It's the blur and the illuminate one. Once I'm done priming my face, I take my MAC Studio Fix Foundation in NC44 and begin applying it on my hand. So when I apply my foundation, I just take dots of it and put it on my face. Then I get my damp beauty blender and begin blending my foundation out. So I really like this foundation because it's full coverage and it covers like my dark spots first of all and it covers some of my bumps that I have. Even though I kind of have to put a lot of the foundation over my acne, I don't really mind because the feeling of the foundation is very lightweight. Like you would think I'm caking it on my face. It will, even though like even though it looks kind of cakey, it doesn't feel like that at all. Like it really feels lightweight, and sometimes I forget I'm wearing it unless I look in the mirror. By the way, even though this is my everyday makeup routine, I do not wear foundation every day. I only wear foundation when I'm doing my YouTube videos, but every day I do do my eyebrows and my lashes, and that's really about it. Yeah, and I always thought the beauty blender was hype, but it's actually pretty good. Like it's blended my foundation better than any brush has. I really, really recommend the sponge. So next is my brows and I begin using my spoolie just to brush down my hairs before I begin applying the product. To apply my um, eyebrow stuff, I use the e.l.f. my angled brush and I use e.l.f. cream eyeliner and coffee. I not to pick up too much of the um, eyeliner on my brush because that's, that's not cool, like it's going to look too dark. So I just start underlining my eyebrow, then I line it at the top and I just fill it in at the end. And that's when I go towards the beginning and I start feathering that out with the leftover product that's already on the brush. After I'm done applying the eyeliner, I get my spoolie and begin to brush it out some more just so it won't look too dark and my eyebrow will look even. And if you can't understand some of the product names that I'm saying, um, I'll list them in the description box so you can see all the products that I used in this video. Next, I'm going to take my NYX Full Coverage Concealer in the color medium and then my e.l.f. Flat Eyeliner Brush and begin going underneath my eyebrow just to clean it up. To blend in my concealer, I brush downwards and then once I got all the product downwards, I start just swiping across and then I pat with my fingers. Y'all, excuse my mirror, my sister stepped on it and I have to tape it back together. Like, I know it's ugly, but I mean, it be getting the job done, so whatever. After my brows are done, I go do my eyelashes with Maybelline's Lash Sensational Mascara. I like this mascara. It's like, I don't know, I really like it. I usually use Rocket, but they didn't have it that time I went, so I had to get this one, and I, I'm not disappointed. It works really, really good. I do a lot of mascara because I need my eyelashes to look dark and long. Like, I need them to look good. So I, keep, I go in about, I can't even count, maybe like 20 times. I don't even know. But I do my top row lashes first, and I kind of do the bottom ones a little bit, then I go, I close my eye, and then I do it all out once, if that makes sense, like I'm doing right now. Now it's time to do my lips. This color is LAX by ColourPop Cosmetics. I usually wear lip gloss every day, but some days I'm feeling like I want to be popping, you know, I got to put on some lipstick. And I really like their um, matte lippies. Well, I think that's the lip stain. I don't know what it's called, but I like it. It's really, really good. And it's like $6, so I'll, I'll put that in the description box, too. It's funny because you think since it's $6, it's, like, cheap. It's actually really good quality. It stays on all day. Like, it's actually really hard to get off. But I really, really, really like ColourPop Cosmetics.
Just to let y'all know, I'm not a makeup person, but you guys really want to see this. So this is the finished look, and I really hope you guys enjoyed watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye.